This is Wicked Roadie, a wicked good podcast about Rhode Island events and life. Hi, everyone. My name is Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, Mary? Yes. I believe we have finally turned a corner weather-wise. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I mean, we've had more rain, which is good. You know, we we need the rain. Rain is a good thing. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, rain makes corn. Corn makes whiskey. Whiskey makes my baby feel a little frisky, as is in the song. <laughs> uh, so rain is a good thing. That's uh, you. You can find that uh, find that tune on Cat Country ninety eight point one. Yeah, I guess so. But the uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the weather has finally turned and it's nice. Uh, it's still a little cool, but that's okay. It it's going to be hot before we know it. it. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to get the uh, nice warm weather, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm psyched about it. I don't know about you, but for the first time today. I was able to wear a polo shirt at McCoy Stadium without a sweatshirt over it, without my hands being cold, without my my ears being cold. It was fantastic. That sounds amazing. You know, I wasn't even thinking about it too much. I took a picture of my kids on our way to the library earlier this week, and I posted it online, and afterwards I looked at it, and they were both wearing full fleece jackets, and my daughter was wearing fuzzy boots. Oh, I saw a to- ton of photos <laughs> of people who had fires going in their fireplaces inside their homes yep you know just because it was so cold so the way that the forecasts are looking it looks like everything shifted so that's a that's a good thing we that's can go outside yep. you just to be careful of bugs like oh uh, yeah all yeah. those ticks and that are out what the heck who who why why did they attack nibbles why did they go after nibbles that was the cruelest thing stupid it's just stupid. I missed the news. So because I'm a busy stay-at-home mom, mm-hmm. I often don't get... And I don't even have cable. I'm just, you know, whatever I see is on whatever Facebook tells me that morning. Um, so I didn't know, and I drove into Providence, and that was a surprising sight. Oh, it was very... It was just, it's a, just a shame. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, somebody had to put a ladder up there, then get up there. I mean, it's just totally disrespectful. I mean, it's dangerous, first and foremost. There's a power lines up there. There's transformers and everything. They could have gotten, you know, they could have gotten zapped and juiced. But, like bugs do when yeah, they touch Yeah, absolutely. Them. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, uh, to me, uh, yeah, I hope that person gets Zika. Were there cameras? There, There's traffic cameras. I mean, I'm sure they're going to have to do things, obviously. It's like anything else, and they're going to have to... You know, take on the expense of cleaning the bug and or repainting it, do whatever they it's just it's it's terrible. You know, it's it's no it's just lack of respect. Nibbles but, is gonna need a facelift yeah, and a whole new look. I know, I know. And then you know, hopefully uh hopefully they're they're able to get it done soon and you know, re- restore Nibbles to his former glory. And you know, kudos to Big Blue Bug for not coming out and being as mean and cruel as I am about it. They're very, <laughs> they're much more uh, poised about it. And, you know, they were really just happy that nobody got hurt doing it. Yes. I mean, they're very disappointed, obviously, that somebody would do that. But, you know, to me, you know, that's such a, and everybody looks at it like, oh, gee, you know, friends from out of town, they saw it on, they're like, oh, well, you know, it's like, yeah, that's, that's kind of a point of pride for us. Yes. You know, it's been in so many movies. I know, have it as a Christmas ornament. Yeah, I do too. Yep. I do too. <laughs> Absolutely. Who doesn't love nibbles? <laughs> right. So, uh, but anywho, I'm just glad that, you know, they're going to get it all cleaned up and everything. So, hey, listen, if you tuned in while you're on the road, working, driving by nibbles or getting errands done, just listen, sit back and enjoy. And if you hear something that piques your interest, we'll have all the links and info for you in the show notes and on our website. WickedRodyPodcast.com. All right, Ben. What do you have that's going on this week that is wicked interesting? What is more impressive than the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs that's happening? Uh, anything? Yes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> How about super tall, super hero-ish state police troopers? Okay, yeah. Playing hockey against each other. The Massachusetts State Police versus the Rhode Island State Police in a fundraiser happening this Saturday at Schneider Arena at Providence College. The puck will drop at 4 p.m. It is the first annual Rhode Island Troopers Association hockey fundraiser. Now, the tickets are $15 a person. Awesome. Okay. There will be troopers playing there. And this is a fun game. Mm-hmm. This is something you'll see a lot of good camaraderie on the ice. And let's face it, these guys are all in shape. And girls. Guys and girls. Perfect. All in shape. Uh, it's it's a great time. They'll have a cookout outside the arena. They'll have tickets for sale at the door, like I mentioned, $15 a piece. All the proceeds go to benefit the Rhode Island Troopers Association Charitable Fund. They use those funds to help 
groups like Rhode Island Special Olympics who just had their mm-hmm. ceremonies down there at URI. They work with the local agencies that help, you know, with Toys for Tots in the winter and stuff a cruiser or fill a cruiser or the, with the toys. And it just they do a lot of great things in the community with those funds to help give back to the uh, – because, you know, they have to raise those funds when they do those kind of things mm-hmm. on the side because their job is being a state trooper. Exactly. And a lot of people call upon state troopers when they need help. They dial 911 or on the highway they dial – star seven seven but when they actually find needs in the community uh they have to tap into their charitable foundation that's why they do this and that's uh so it's a great time again it's saturday four o'clock over at schneider arena that's our wicked interesting pick of the week and now here's what's wicked fun in the 401 How we make a lot of films here in the state of Rhode Island. We, we've we've made a few. You know, it's yeah. it's like a thing that we're doing now. Well, yeah. one of the things that I've always been jealous of other big time cities is that they get to have test screenings. Okay. They get to have movies that they get to see, and the audience kind of gets to give feedback about what they liked, what they didn't like. Well, we get to do that. We get to do that on Tuesday. So you know how we do this sometimes. We talk about events that are going to be going on over the weekend or leading into next week. So next Tuesday, June 13th, from 6 to 9 p.m., you're going to want to go to the West Warwick Library, the West Warwick Public Library, because the Rhode Island Film Collaborative is going to be having a test screening, and it is a feature-length film. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be it's set to release in this year, 2017. And the whole idea of it is everything changes for Todd after his evil twin from a parallel universe arrives to steal his girlfriend. <laughs> All right, so the genre, of course, is sci-fi rom-com. It's Mr. Steal Your Girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is so important because film companies really really rely upon the input of the general public to gauge reaction about how they should kind of like further tweak their creative process. It's a really rare opportunity to see the film before it's finished and to give your feedback and it is going to be free. Okay, oh. so you get a free film, you get to kind of like say like, "Oh yes, I gave some creative feedback to that." The seating for this event is limited. You're going to need to arrive 15 minutes prior um, and they are going to be asked to fill out an anonymous survey at the end. So the link for this is going to be on our website, wickedrodypodcast.com because they do want you to RSVP. But I just thought this was so cool. You get to kind of pretend you're like in one of the major cities that gets to do these test screenings. Oh yeah, well and this is how everything starts out when when you when they start seeing cities like Providence and areas in this, you know, theaters in this area rather that are participating like that, more filmmakers will say, okay, if, if we had to test in a few different cities, let's give Providence a shot. Mm-hmm. So it could certainly open the door up to more opportunities in the future. So that's great to help out. Yeah. Another great thing that's happening this weekend, it is the great chowder cook-off. It's happening on Saturday at Fort Adams State Park, noon to six. This is legendary. Okay. Okay. This is the 36th annual Great chowder cook-off. Oh now, gosh. years ago, this used to be held at the Newport Yachting Center. Yes. And the Newport Yachting Center went through some changes, and they do a lot with boats still. And they mm-hmm. still have a lot of great things that happen over there. The Newport Waterfront Events Corporation that runs all these events now said, we need a bigger venue. Ooh. We need more space. What better than a giant fort of, <laughs> yes. which, of which a shot was never fired in anger. Um yeah, it's a fun fact. What does fact. that even mean? Would you shot, shoot a it, shot it, it in, was never, in jest? No, no, it was uh, it, never in war. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, but they did test. Actually, it's it's uh, it's a a little Rhode Island uh, fun incident. Fact? Yeah, oh, fun oh. fact. Uh, Not so fun fact. They tested the cannons one time. They fired them all at once, and the percussion of the 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 boom the uh shattered a bunch of windows and stuff over on Jamestown. So they didn't do it like that Oops. again. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Uh but hey, you know, it was that was that was then and this Live is and now. Learn. Live and no, learn. no cannons will be shot on the <laughs> Great Chowder Cook Off this Saturday. And you know, you can enjoy endless samples of the traditional and exotic chowders. Uh there's different creations, twenty local, national, and international competitors. You'll be voting, you'll take a sample, Amazing. you'll go try, and the winners walk away with overflowing prize pots and bragging rights for the year. There's so many great prizes. This is this is the event. People come in from out of town specifically mm-hmm. for this. I have been there at a couple different occasions during this. 
unbelievable. Awesome. You can get so full on samples. And of course, obviously, there'll be other items you can purchase and mm-hmm. beverages to procure. So check that out. That's happening Saturday at Fort Adams State Park, noon to six. What else do you got? Listen, if you're not the seafood type, which I can appreciate, I'm allergic to scallops. So <sighs> I'm not always a seafood type. I do like a clam chowder, however. If you are more of like a barbecue person, you love barbecue. I've Hold known, up. I've been known to fancy a barbecue from time yes. to time. Well, the Ocean State barbecue festival is going to be happening this weekend both saturday and sunday at the steel yard in providence so the steel yard is this really fun funky place if you haven't yet been they have several events throughout the year they have classes that go on but it literally was a steel yard and they've now made it this artist space and an event space and it's really really cool so this is the second annual ocean state barbecue festival it's going to be going on all weekend you could go get clam chowder on saturday and then get some barbecue on Sunday. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, it's a good day to me. I it's could a get them both on the same day. <laughs> right? See, yeah. oh, exactly. Take exactly. an Uber, take a Lyft, take whatever you got to get. Amen. So you could celebrate all that is locally smoked and grilled with our with Rhode Island based different, you know, um, cooks and chefs and different products that are going to be used. Sure. It is rain or shine. And um, actually, no, it's Friday and Saturday. I apologize about that. Friday and Saturday, guys. So Friday go. night, 5 to 10. Saturday, noon to 10. So Noted. make sure you get in there Friday. Um, if you want to make sure you can go to the the chatter place on Saturday. It is rain or shine. $15 are the tickets in advance, or it's going to be $20 at the door. It gets you samples from all the different types of food and vendors, plus a complimentary beer, cocktail, soda, or water. There you go. Isn't that great? Perfect. You will leave so stuffed and so happy. I mean, I'm just looking at the list. They even have music, tons of live music going Mm -hmm. on. My gosh, children under 12 are free. Now, let me ask you this. Will the barbecue vendors be offering samples? Yes. Oh, good. That's yes, yes. good. That's good. I'm kind right. of drooling as I'm talking about this event. I may have to swing by Wes's on the right way home. No. So. Why? You can swing by the steel yard. Well, I'm going to swing by Wes's tonight on the way home. Oh, because now you're in the mood for exactly. some barbecue. Exactly. I see what's going take on. Take care of the problems when they arise here, Mary. It's, <laughs> uh, you know, we, we, we deal with things as they as they pop up. So. I love it. I love it. So uh, there is there there's still um yeah they're going to be offering samples. There's going to be a public judging competition. Oh, good. I think that would be the most delicious competition For those out there who ever. like to judge. <laughs> yes, right. Uh, parking. There's no designated lot just in case you haven't been to the steel yard. You kind of mm-hmm. just park in and around the area. But um, as long as you don't park in a handicapped spot, you're good to go. That you're sounds good to organized. go. And dogs are not allowed because they just want to make the, not, not in a bad way. It's just not a good place to bring a dog. You know, barbecue festival sure. would probably not be very good. So yeah. those, of course, are our wicked fun and the 401 suggestions. And now here's something that is wicked family friendly. What do you got? Family day at the South County Museum. Where is the South County Museum? In South County. Fantastic. I have never been to the South County Museum. Field trip. I went to URI. I feel like I knew all of the nooks and well, crannies. You were, you were studying. Yeah, yeah. And, and convincing the sailing team to take you out on their boats. That was one of my definite claims to fame is that I went on the sailing team boat way too many times and still to this day do not know how to sail. Yeah, that's all right. You had a life jacket. You were good. Yeah, I was. So this is going to be going Saturday from 11 to 3. Um, it's going to kick off with story time. After that, they're going to, our friends from Laidback Fitness with Ryan McGowan, they're going to let your inner ninja go free on this ninja course from 12 to 3. Sunset Farm Food Truck is going to be there in case you get hungry. There's going to be music uh, with Doc Woods along with um, the South County Museum's own amusements, face painting, farm and nature tours. I mean, so many different things going on. Blacksmith demos. Who oh, yeah. wouldn't want to see that? Oh, that's wicked cool. Right? Absolutely. So many different things. So it's a celebration of all that the museum has to offer. They're going to open their doors to local families. If just straight up good old-fashioned fun. Non-members is um, $10 and family members are free. But this just sounds so cool and so different. Yeah, absolutely. You know? It reminds me. I've got to dig out my anvil. <laughs> Need to really find that. I left. I let a, I let a coyote borrow it once. And, you know, so that's the... Uh, I got to get it back. I wish I had a sound effect, like a, a uh, classical no. music Wait, sound effect uh, you know, to give they, to you right now. <sighs> Just go with that. So, so Just good. Just go with that. So that's happening when? That is happening on Saturday from 11 till 3 down in South County. Just Perfect. Google South County Museum. I've never been there and I want to go there now because this sounds like such a fun event. Well, hit it up. Hit it up. <laughs>
Hey, as we said in the beginning, everything we talked about today can be found on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram. And if you go to any of these events, we want to know. And if you go to other events, we still want to know. The way that we can know is by using the hashtag Wicked Roadie, or you could tag us in your photos or your social shares. Hey, folks, if you like what you're hearing, you know, we don't ask for this often, but we would love to hear what you think. If you could head over to iTunes and give us a rating or even share some information with us on our Facebook page, Mm -hmm. you know, let us know what you like, what you think you want to hear more of. That helps us to find the right people and give you the right information that you're looking for, as well as, uh, you know, meet up with some new people just like you. And of course, if you're looking for advertising or sponsorship information, you can simply email us, wickedroadedpodcast at gmail.com. Happy summer, guys. Like, I know it's not technically summer, it's close but enough. it's going to be almost summerish. You can whip out those shorts. You can eat some clam chowder. You can eat some barbecue. I'm so excited. That's right. That's it. That's Until it. next time, folks, <laughs> I'm Mary Larson. And I won't be wearing pants anymore, and I'm Ben DeCastro. <laughs> Elastic pants, hopefully. You've been listening to Wicked Roadie. We'll have more for you next Thursday. I hope my grandmother comments on that one. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>